into your spirituality. My church is Caressed, K-R-S-T. They teach African spiritual science, okay? And that's where I get my strength from. And as black people, I want to encourage you to go back to your roots and find, find your creator and find your power, your spiritual power. Our prayers do go out to the family of uh, Nipsey Hussle and, and, and in that respect, uh, we don't want to see anyone die and we definitely don't want to see anyone die in sin. Um, but I have to deal with this, uh, deal with this, uh, this murder and just the whole hip hop, uh, culture and the gang relation it had and all of that. Okay. So first let's deal with this, uh, on the internet, I've been getting multiple memes and different things of people putting Nipsey hustle in heaven, of course, you know, in heaven with Biggie and Tupac and everyone else, because, you know, people really don't know the truth about uh, heaven. They don't know the truth about living for God. Um, you know, no one goes to heaven according to the Bible, but those that accept Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior, those that make him Lord, and those that live by his rules or his religion. I know Kurt Franklin has told y'all that there are no rules and no religion, uh, but that is not true at all. Uh, he needs to read the Bible because the Bible is specific about religion. It tells us what religion is. And we know that God's religion is salvation through Jesus Christ. And so without Jesus Christ, no man will see God. So all of these preachers, we're seeing an onslaught of preachers coming out with these messages and these sermons about Nipsey Hussle and equating him to Moses and the prophets and the Bible and different things. And it's very, very sad to see that men can get so desperate for money. You know, they built these big old churches, you know, 20 years ago when the getting was good and they could convince everyone that things would get better if you just give me your money. And now those churches are dying, they're dwindling, they're drying up because people have seen that you're no different. What you're promising is not going to help me. Uh, these preachers that aren't teaching the truth of the word, uh, they're losing members to the world. So they have to incorporate the world. So they're incorporating Nipsey Hussle in their messages, even though Nipsey referred to himself as Osiris, a false pagan god of Egypt. And he uh, uh, referred to Laura London, even on his Instagram as being ISIS, the counterpart of this. So he's calling himself a false God. And, you know, God himself said, no, there shall be no other God before me. So, uh, people putting Nipsey and hustle, uh, Nipsey hustle in heaven. Uh, I, I'm, it's sad to say that if he did not believe that Jesus Christ was the only way, then he is not there in heaven. Heaven does not have a ghetto. Heaven is not letting you do what you want to get there. It's by the blood of Jesus Christ that will all uh, make it in. So I know there's a lot of conspiracy theorists who say that the government killed him or whatever, but we know that his killing was just, it was definitely gang related because he himself was a part of the gang culture. But all you got to do is listen to his lyrics. And that's, that's my thing. You know, you want to make a... Uh, uh, you know, a uh, hero out of him, a Nobel P Peace Prize winning uh, philosopher out of him because of the Dr. Sebi connection or whatever. But if you read his lyrics, you see that he was a street banger. He sung about getting money. He sung about getting rich. He called women bees and hoes. Have one of his songs called 100 where I'm going to, of course, read the lyrics. I'm going to try my best to read this without cussing, but it's full of the street language that he was a part of. It says, balling for real, I'm taking big money, 100000 a show, but that's my rent money, 4000 a pound, but that's my smoke budget. F it off at the mall. That's because these hoes love it, okay? Um, he says, black sax 15, probably playing blue lace in the six. Bees that strip falling for the crip. She want me for my money. I tell her to such my rich. Make her F the whole click. And so, you know, I'm sorry, but 
How are you a savior of the community if you are promoting the very thing that's destroying the community? I'll never understand that. I'll never understand. Well, first of all, let's talk about the preachers. I'll never understand a preacher that will glorify a man that glorifies a street culture that's killing us, that uh, babies out of wedlock, uh, drugs, uh, AIDS, uh, homosexuality, all the different things that are destroying our community. These things are promoted in the hip hop culture or hip hop subculture that I talk about in all my videos. Uh, and this guy glorified it. He glorified the street life. He glorified killing. He glorified getting money, smoking. He glorified strippers and giving strippers money and all these things. And man, you're going to equate this guy with some biblical apostles and say that he, uh, you know, like uh, E. Dewey Smith said, he's the God uh, of uh Abraham, Isaac, and Nipsey, all of this junk to try to get members and different things. I mean, it is sad to see that in the church. And it's sad that the world has to look up to people that glorify this culture for a hero. They needed a hero when it comes to Dr. Sebi. And, you know, it was unfortunate that Dr. Sebi died, but Dr. Sebi wasn't a Christian. My brother did not like me too well because he said I didn't go to church. No, I don't go to church. But that has nothing to do with my relationship with God. My relationship with God is direct with God and me. No middle man. I don't remember God hearing saying to anyone to be a middle man. That's a business. That middle man can't help you. Ain't no preacher could save your life. You have to be the sacrifice. You have to be that person that understands what God is and give yourself to that entity. No, I don't go to church, but you drink cow milk. You violate God more than me. You talk about God, you eat rice. You drink cow milk, boy. You eat meat, you eat pork meat, and you tell me about God? Behave yourself. God ain't made none of that. His Bible says, render to Caesar that which is Caesar. But no, I can't talk about those truths anymore because I do not live in a world that support that truth. Dr. Sebi didn't even believe in the Bible being truth or he didn't believe in religion at all. He was a part of the conscious movement. So, you know, we need to just just relax and, and stop letting the internet guide us and stop letting YouTube convince us and making us follow this guy or that guy, all these people, y'all. We are forgetting that we are followers of Jesus Christ. If you are a Christian, if you are a believer, then please, let me tell you, pray every night. Pray, Lord, don't let me get caught up in this deception. Don't let me follow deceptive preachers and follow deceptive singers. And God, don't let me be lost in this last hour, because I'm telling you, y'all, there are a lot of false prophets that have come upon the earth. So we have to make sure that we are following the right one. Mm -hmm.